We demand our rights was the message from the We Are One Voice demonstrators. Walking to Number 6 Convent Place were people with disabilities, their family, friends and supporters. Well, today people are meeting here in Casemates to voice their concerns about rights here in Gibraltar. When it comes down to the disability rights here in Gibraltar, the Disability Act of 2017 is um, falling very short of what should be legislation in our modern day. So we're here today to voice our opinion, to walk down to number six, hand in a letter, and hopefully we'll have some movement when it comes to strategies and policies that need to be published. Well, we, we want uh, to wrap up the uh, Dr. Hiraldi Center. We want uh, more therapists, but the most important one is to enact the acts of the UN Convention that have been applied in Parliament in 2017 and still not been enacted. And we want them to be taken upon and all that takes over uh, the con uh, continuation of care and everything else. At the moment it's impacting on, on children's lives because we don't have a diagnosis process where children can be given letters of diagnosis to open that door of provisions and services. At the moment we're stuck in a loop where people are just going round in circles and the GHA need to start explaining exactly what's going to happen when it comes to publishing the disability strategy that was off the back end of the mental health strategy and I believe that the disability strategy needs to be published as soon as possible. There was an engagement two years ago uh, and with this asking for the same terms and nothing has been done about it. So we are basically asking for the same things that have been asked two years ago in the last demonstration that we did. The demonstrators are calling for more therapists and other specialised professionals to cater for the increasing numbers of people with disabilities in the community. It calls for a revamp and modernisation of St Bernadette's Occupational Centre and a central GHA team of professionals to improve diagnosis, treatment strategies, reviews and access to standard medical issues. It's very simple. Without rights, what we have right now is the gift of the government. What we need is that you rights. That that is the the short and long of it. And I just wanted to say to make it clear that people with disabilities should have the same right and the same respect as everybody else. It's very very important. What what people have to understand is that in 2023, in this day and age, it is absolutely mind-blowing that people, people who have disabilities and their families have to actually demonstrate on the streets of Gibraltar to, to demand our rights. This is mind-blowing. Think about it. Think about this. We have to come onto the streets to, to actually demand our rights. Crazy. Nothing about us without us. That's very important. We cannot leave anybody out in this community, and they are leaving them out. Thank you very much all for coming. A large group of demonstrators have marched here to number six with a letter for the government calling for their rights to be protected and for legislation to be enacted. The Chief Minister and his ministers weren't here, they're in Parliament and at the GHA Freedom of the City, so the Chief Secretary has come out to receive that letter. Now today the government has issued a press release outlining all the measures it has taken to protect those rights, but this group of demonstrators say they're a fed up with empty promises and of course in this election year what better time to have their voices heard.